Thought we were done with the 2018 Hot Wheels unboxings? Not so fast. A&J Toys has sent over just one more. If I do an international case, I'm also going to open the U.S. case. That is what this is. It is the Hot Wheels 2018 Q case, final case of the year. Q seems like it's been out for a while now. Not too long, but, it, you know, in Hot Wheels... In Hot Wheels time, it's ancient history, but we got to open one up because that is what was sent to me. We've already done the A case, we've already done the International Q case, but why not do the US Q case just to give 2018 just one last hurrah, right? I like to open both, it just kind of gives us a sense of what's in these cases. Use it for education purposes, I'll try and go as fast as... I can and then we pretty much are done with the 2018 unboxings because I mean there might be some car culture we still have to do but ultimately I think we are done so let's walk through these very very quickly we start with the Lamborghini Countach pace car we go to the Bogzilla and we also go to the Volkswagen Beetle in white gotta move some stuff over don't want to cut my hand on that. There we go. Oh. I'm not doing a very good job of going fast. There is the zoom in. There is the Corolla DeVille. That would have been the super had it been a super, but it's not. It's the basic. And there is another of the white Countaches. That's one of my models of the year. Tesla Model X. A BMW K1300R, and there is the other Cruella DeVille in red. Another Tesla, a Fiat. This will be the last unboxing with a Fiat, and the last unboxing with the HW450F. What do you think of that? I kind of am happy about that. will be the last one with the uh, Chevelle wagon in it, too, although I like the Chevelle wagon. Porsche 934 Turbo RSR in green. Two of those, and then whatever that helicopter is, I forget. I forget, and I didn't see it. Two of the recolor of the Bone Shaker, and then the Rig Storm. Cool Combi, recolor of the Fair Lady 2000, and I just, another one of the great models of 2018, the Ford Mustang GT. Another Cool Combi, I, didn't, I think in the international case there's only one, so there's two in this case, there's also two in the A case. Uh, Rally Cat, and then the Skull Shaker, right? That little big head one or whatever. The Ford F-150 Raptor looks good there. Say goodbye to that Chevelle wagon. I think that we had 36 colors of that as well. And then Hot Wheels High. Two of the McLaren with the J5 wheels. One of them looks a little jacked in the front there. And then the Rockster. Volkswagen, Arista Rat, and then the Audacious. And finishing up this side of the case, Rally Cat, another one of those Mustangs. Just feast your eyes on it. We're going to miss that one. And then the Pontiac Firebird. We're going to probably get that Mustang in a recolor of some sort with a Hot Wheels original design on it. That's all said and good, but I like... I like that stock design just a little bit better. Let's see if I can get out oh, smoothly there. Two Exotiques, Power Rocket. Dust. Teed off two, recolor of the Batmobile. McLaren P1 in green, recolor of the Ford Transit Connect. The Embosser winning formula and the recolor of the King Cuda. As I'm going through these, because I think we all determined the first time I did the Q case unboxing, this case is not the most exciting. There's two Impalas and then I like that one, the 53 Chevy. Impala's cool too. Best Q case ever. Had to have been 2014. Baja Hauler, 70 Camaro, and the Tuligan. The Super Treasure Hunt that year. 
Datsun 510. That's become a legendary super. Two new models. It was the 2000 something something Mustang, a, the brand new Mustang. It was a, it was brand new at the time. Bot wheels and what is this? A eruption. But the Porsche 934 RSR also debuted in orange, a classic orange. Two Corvettes, C7 Z06. And then the uh, Nova, or, no, or the Nomad, I'm sorry, the 55 Nomad. And I've always thought since like the Datsun Fairlady Z was, uh, or was it the Nissan Fairlady Z debuted last year? That was pretty good, or had that super treasure hunt. Ford Escort, that's a cool model. And the Fandango. So considering 2018 had so many good supers and the Lamley Awards are coming up soon, so prepare for that. Prepare to vote for your favorite. Treasure Hunt Crate Racer, right? Um, and then the Moon Eyes Camaro, which is awesome. And then whatever that is. The rise and climb. I always felt like saving that cabin just a killer. If you're a Disney fan, obviously the Cruella is a killer super, but I don't know if there was a, any big debuts in this in this particular case. 52 Chevy and then the Papa Wheelie. But I think all Q cases will be judged by that 2014 Q case because it was just so rad. And I actually took a super from a Kmart case last year, that that 510. Uh, what is that? The HW50 Concept. Yay. And that's a cool car, the Dodge Demon in yellow. Have you found the Zamac? Because it's pretty sweet, too. All right, guys. There you go. That is it. That is the cute case. Kind of a... <laughs> kind of a fumble of, uh, of, of... Considering I thought 2018 was phenomenal from the basic range. So many good models. So many good super treasure hunts. Really fun to pursue. Q case was probably one of the uh, least exciting. That's all right. Anyway, there you go. We're done. Let's get full into 2019. Let's let's uh, put 2018 to bed with the Lamley Awards. As soon as we see that last batch of car culture, those drag strip demons, we're moving on. Thanks, everybody. Bye.